away. Stop. This is not what you think it is. Going to... <gasps> it isn't bad behavior. It Stop. isn't bad Stop. parenting. It's far worse. I got a weapon. Give me back my ball. <gasps> just... You fucking feel me again. I just don't understand. Stop it! This is the dark side of a debilitating disorder called Tourette syndrome. <laughs> it's a personal prison and there's no cure. But these rage attacks and vivid illusions are a side of Tourette's most of us never see, never knew existed. You sort of see a change come over the face <coughs> and then anything could happen. Um, he can be wanting to hit us, destroy things. Um, he sometimes imagines we're Casper. That's Casper the ghost. Where did Casper put my ball? A regular illusion. <coughs> And the most heartbreaking victims of all, the kids themselves. Like 13-year-old Cameron Schubert. What's the toughest thing? When I have hypermanic episodes, it's pretty bad. I'm not myself, I turn into a different person. And like, I go like full on rage. I like try and hurt people and I throw stuff and yeah. You can't help it. Yeah. For those who don't know him, Cameron's Tourette's creates an, at times, awkward and embarrassing series of tics and outbursts. Fuck. I think most people just think it's swearing and, and yelling out. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. But underneath all of that going on in here is Mental. anxiety. Tourette's is just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> And it's when Cameron's rage attacks strike that the Jekyll and Hyde nature of the condition appears. It's not a build-up, it's a sudden switch from calmness to uncontrollable rage. Mm. And there's no in-between, there's no build-up, it just is so sudden. And there's nothing, nothing he can do, there's nothing we can do, you can't reason, they have to come back down themselves. It's very, very difficult. Stop, stop. Let's go! No, I won't let go. Recently, we were outside a shop and he was yelling out at the top of his voice that I was not his mum, called the police. You don't know what you're gonna get. Put it down. Do you know what you're doing? Do you, do you, is it you that's doing it? No. I go to the back of my head. The person comes from the back of my head and to the front of my head and I turn into him. And then I know what's happening. I can see it because, like, I'm in the back. But I can't take over control. It's like they're basically driving the car. I can't stop the car. He, he often refers to it as Cameron 2. And is there anything you can do to stop the rages coming on? Personally, I don't think there is. Generally, no. How long does it last? I think one of my longest has been two or three hours. No! I hate you! After they've been through uh, an episode like this, the remorse that he feels is huge. It, 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 it envelops him again. Because he Becomes says, obsessional. Yeah. How he it's... reacted and behaved. It's an obsession of saying sorry over and over and over. I didn't mean! I didn't! I feel like I've hurt people too much. I always feel a bit depressed, a bit down. <laughs> Don't really want to go to school the next day. <laughs> and Cameron's not alone. You fucking feel me again. I just don't understand. Stop it! So it's up here? At her family home on the Gold Coast. This is my room. I'm meeting 12-year-old Maddie Raywood. Oh, yes. OK. There's one, two, three holes right there. Where her bedroom resembles a battleground. Oh, my God. OK. Maddie. 
That's quite a hard wall. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine you putting these holes in these walls, Maddie. <laughs> Look at that smile. It's all the gymnastics made us strong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what does our doctor call it? The, the angry beast. Yeah. The angry beast comes the out. The angry beast comes out. Mm. Stop it! It's like an angry beast, which um, basically controls over me. Maddie says and does things that I know that I just have to look and say that's not Maddie saying that. Um, it's we've had police help, we've had ambulance help, we've had to restrain Maddie. You're just looking at this child that you've had and all of a sudden it's a different child. So angry and upset. Is it the hardest part of this condition? Absolutely. It's just one of the most socially crippling, you know, um, disorders. It just overtakes me and it makes me feel a bit sad sometimes. I feel that my parents get really emotional and I don't like when that happens, so, yeah. How tough have these rage attacks been on you two, Nick? Oh, Joe, I don't know. It's, it's so varied, the emotions that you feel when you're going through it. Um, because you do feel undertones of anger because, you know, you're being yelled at. Mm. Um, but it's also sorrow because you're seeing your child going through this, knowing that they cannot help it and cannot stop, and just feeling... Uh, I don't know, how do you describe it? It's... you can't do anything to help. Ah! Write your ideas down. Maddie's in year seven, and it's here at school in a quiet, focused classroom. Ten more seconds. That the tension of holding in her tics and outbursts can reach boiling point. <laughs> Out of nowhere, a rage strikes, and we find her storming through the school grounds. Stop me. Suddenly, Maddie isn't Maddie anymore. For Maddie's teachers, this disruptive and distressing behaviour is all too familiar. And what happens in one of those meltdowns, Caitlin? She can be slamming the doors or pulling down the posters or throwing things at the door. Um, there's a time where I've actually needed Lever's assistance and she's come down and she's throwing her phone at Lever, um, obviously using those colourful language to get us away because she doesn't want us to be there. Even though she's seeking that attention, it's more that this the rage has taken over then. And it's not so much her that's in control. It's something else, isn't it? That's yeah. right. Definitely. Yeah. So difficult that Caitlin Cleary and Leva Rimboltz will often walk Maddie from one class to another. A therapy dog, Solo, helps calm Maddie too. The high school that Maddie's at have been above and beyond. They are amazing. Without those ladies, I don't know how we'd do it. No. Mm. Yeah, she's a very lucky girl. Very lucky girl. Very lucky. Yeah.